Man, some of the best fishing bait out there to really catch really big bass. Almost all size bass you would catch on a spinning reel. Spinning reel, man, hands down one of my favorite fish, uh, you know, fishing baits. You can do so much with it, so diversified, diversified out there on the water. You could go, you know, you could fish on ponds with it. You can fish in open water, some cover, tall grass, lily pads. You know, you can fish it slow, you can fish it fast. You can fish it where it kind of rips. You can fish it where it kind of goes up and down. Man, a fast retrieve, you know, a slow retrieve or just at a steady pace. Uh, What's also good, it's a good profile. It has a big profile. All that vibration from the blades are like really giving this bait uh, an upper advantage, especially in muddy water and in clear water. Because muddy water, they want to see the reflection. In clear water, they're going to see the gold and the silver with the vibration and then the, the color of the actual bait. So now I particularly like white colors, light colors. Um, I think this one's like an electric chad. Um, it's, man, it's very realistic to the fish out here. Um, it's spring-fed water, so... You know, I'm going to look for something that's going to be, like, very rich in color. Um, nice yellows and purples. I've seen a lot on the bluegills. So I'm trying to, you know, go out with that and especially bring out that gold with the chartreuse color on the side. Um, I do like the trailer hooks on the end, you know, just in case those fish are just grabbing the uh, tail end. You know, that, that hookup ratio goes up a whole lot when you have this trail hook. So always make sure that you have a trail hook and make sure that you don't lose the little gasket that's holding it together that kind of makes it where it doesn't flop around and tangle. Because while you're casting, remember this thing might be moving around a lot. So you kind of wanted to keep it from, you know, moving too much and you will feel the vibration from the, from the teardrop blades. Um, this one in particular got gold and silver, both teardrop. Um, really nice. This is a 3 8 weight um, sharp shooter, uh, strike king. Old bait, man. Caught a lot of fish on them. I was just throwing it out just recent, uh, just earlier today, and man, I had, it had a good feeling. A brand new line throwing a uh, 40 pound braid. It's zipping out there too, man. It's getting a good. You know, 200 feet out there, you know, 70 yards, 50 yards cast. Um, perfect for where I'm, the conditions and where I'm fishing at. Uh, there is a canopy above me, so I wasn't able to kind of get a full extension. So it could go a lot further than that, especially throwing in the wind. Um, what's good about this is uh, you can fish these on uh, crazy current days, like days that the it's very choppy, it's very windy out there. Um, a spinning bait is going to be ideal. You can actually drag that baby all the way at the bottom and just kind of figure out the depth. It could be dragging it at the bottom or even going half uh, below the surface and just kind of, um, you know, allowing it to go that way. Now, if they do come out of the water with a spinner, they could actually shoot this bait out a lot easier. That's the reason of having the trailer hook so that you get a two hook ratio off of the one bite. This is sometimes get caught up on the gill, get caught up on the upper gill, lower gill. Um, also, it will be implanted in the mouth and keep the mouth shut. You would know because the bass will start digging down and it will start biting really aggressive. And usually when it stings the mouth, it will come up. But now you got two hooks, it will most likely not pop off the hook. That's the main thing with the fish coming out. So just kind of keep those lines tight. You know, follow it throughout the... Usually when they come down, they're going to come up. So be ready for the come up. Don't allow too much slack in the line. And, you know, you'll save the catch every time. You'll catch more bass that way. Your, you know, your experience on the water will definitely improve every time. Uh, it's the, remember, fishing is the, a game of patience. A little patience go a long way. Take that patience, you know, and use that and adapt it. Adapt yourself around the new bodies of water and really get 
familiar with the places that are really good and you know kind of study around what's around it you know what colors are the bluegills you know see if there's shad swimming see if there's minnows frogs hitting the water all those type of stuff there's construction on the bank most likely they pulling up dirt so you know mice throw mouse off the you know on the on the ends of the river but with this you could pretty much cover so much ground throw underneath the docks go on the side of the docks you know go out there in the deep wherever you want wherever you please almost with this so you know get your spinner bait get a couple in your arsenal uh you know this is electric five color electric chad you go chartreuse and white you go with all white and, and red eyes and silver or you know you go with different types of blades you got the colorado blades you know these are the two teardrop blades teardrop blades what i've done seen which is really unique about the teardrop blades they actually maneuver better at a steady pace they actually swim a whole lot better and a better vibration at a steady pace so you know you don't have to fish it too fast you don't have to fish it too slow just keep it nice and steady and keep it going um better results uh when it comes to movement on the water so you know be on the lookout you know um for spinners grab them when they're on sale you know strike king's a really good brand um, kind of go with one that's a little bit um, more expensive because you do get a quality bait that way. Um, six bucks, anywhere from like five to six bucks, four, four and some change to like six dollars. Definitely, those are good baits. Uh, Strike King's one of my favorite. Um, get you a spinner bait, catch you more bass. Very diverse fall bait. Been around for ages, guys. Always shows up. All right, guys, go out there, get them. Hold your mouth right. Keep those lines tight and set those hooks. Hook them. Hook them big, dog. Here go. Hook a big one. Talk about it later. Don't talk about it before you do it. Talk about it when you do it. Everybody want to hear that story, man. I'm telling you. It's Alex Silver with Hold Your Mouth, man. Signing off. Peace. God bless.